As you are probably familiar with, learning a new movement skill seems to require passing through a variety of stages. Several groups of scientists have developed learning theories to explain how we learn new skills. One of the most famous learning theories is the one developed by Paul Fitz in 1964. As you have read in your book, prior to attempting a new task, a learner would typically receive some instruction and then attempt to complete the task. This first stage of learning is known as the cognitive stage of learning and is characterized by the learner attempting to understand the nature of the motor skill to be performed. As you can see in the video, our learner is receiving basic instructions. We then see him thinking about what he has to do to complete the baseball swing. Note that we can see this learner cognitively processing where his hand should be on the bat, his initial hip movements, and eyes focused on the ball. Naturally, this learner will struggle during this cognitive stage of learning. The next stage of learning is called the intermediate or associative stage where the learner begins to understand how the various components of this skill are interrelated. During this stage, the learner also begins to modify or adapt the movement pattern. We can see here that at least off the tee, our student has made significant progress in coordinating his body to produce a purposeful swing. The model in red is also able to demonstrate a reasonable swing in the intermediate stage of learning. In the last stage of Fitz's model of learning, the learner reaches an autonomous stage where the movement itself has become automatic and the learner can concentrate on other aspects of the skill. In the case of batting a baseball, a professional batter in the autonomous stage could concentrate on the type of pitch likely to be thrown, where the runner and fielders are positioned, the cheer of the crowd, and how much per at bat they are making.